and look at that gloss. Hi, my name is Anders Sundström, and these are the four main products from Paul Brongard Collection. The reviving cream uses high amounts of soft waxes such as beeswax, rose wax, together with the potent oils such as mink oil and shea butter. The reviving cream not only nourishes the leather, but it does provide a strong cleaning. The reviving cream does not have pigmentation, but it does prepare the leather for the next step. First off, we always remove the laces. Now when we remove the laces, we should always insert the shoe tree. This is important for the next steps. This is the shoe tree that we're going to use. It's a hand-stained luxury shoe tree from Argenton. So first off, we're going to clean the shoe using the reviving cream. This not only will clean the shoe, but it will nourish the leather to ensure that the leather stays soft and subtle, flexible over time. To do so, we always want to use a cloth. And in this case, I always recommend to use a fiber cloth for the reviving cream. The fiber cloth is actually a little more abrasive, which means that it will be more efficient to remove dust, dirt and old products. We apply it in a thin layer on the whole shoe. Good recommendation is always apply the cream to the cloth and then use a opposite surface to polish the cream into the cloth itself. This, why we do this is because we want to avoid to apply a thick cream onto the leather itself. Once we've applied the first layer, we apply slightly more cream. Again, polish the cream into your palm or a opposite surface. Apply it in small circular motions for the reviving cream, I strongly recommend to apply some pressure onto the leather. Now when we're finished, we have to wait. The cream needs to dry and penetrate into the leather. The longer you wait, the better. So now we'll let the shoe sit for about 10 minutes and we're gonna use the horsehair brush to brush off the excess product.